Welcome to day 10 and the final day of our 10 day word fast. The focus for today is, in a second, gossip. So final focus is gossip. Gossip is dangerous to participate in and to be around. No matter how mature a person, he cannot listen to gossip and not be effective. It is imperative that we recognize gossip in our own lives and distance ourselves these words. Maybe distance ourselves from these words. It just says distance ourselves these words. Distance ourselves these words. What then is gossip? It is easier for us to recognize gossip when its words are horribly slanderous about a person's sex life or just not uh, believable in its sensational exaggeration about a person's past. We can recognize and distance ourselves from distance ourselves from these words quite fast. But what about that little guilty pleasure of the supermarket tabloid headline or the latest news we might hear about our neighbors or pastor? Gossip can be defined as sharing negative information about someone with someone about another person when that someone has no need to know it. Herein lies the heart of gossip, involving others where they just don't need to be involved, sharing information with others when they don't need to know the information and wouldn't be a part of the solution to the problem anyway. Gossip can also include words that are true about a person, however, just because something is true doesn't make the information prudent to be shared. Can you feel the sting of gossip in these words? Did you know he had been married before? I understand he went bankrupt twice. You know she had a nervous breakdown some years ago. One of the most destructive forms of gossip can actually happen in church. It takes place in prayer groups. Most of us have experienced it at, at one time or another. Gossip is shared in the name of getting all of the information so we know how to pray right. This is unnecessary because God already knows the details and doesn't require us to remind him with the minutia. As followers of Christ, we're not to be involved in any kind of gossip. We are meant to prefer, um, we are meant to prefer one another and outdo um, one, one another in showing honor. Let me go back. We are meant to prefer one another and outdo one another in showing honor. When it comes to our relationship with, with other believers, we are admonished to go out of our way to make sure the words that come out of our mouths show honor and respect. Admonished means to advise or reprimand, warn or reprimand someone firmly. The words of gossip always and on every, every occasion come against the most essential of all God's purposes for the church, for its members to live in unity. Thank you very much. Again, I just want to thank everyone that was on this 10 day word fast. Also everyone that will be on this 10 day word fast in the future, maybe you find this channel and it's some you know months or years later. Uh, I definitely got a lot out of it. One sarcasm for me, I thought that that particular one was very interesting. And I think sarcasm was day seven. Yes, yeah, sarcasm was day seven and eight. And I like the scarcasm because uh, it, it really does scar people. Um, so I thought that that one was really good. Uh, day seven and day eight. So Thank you again very much for joining the 10 day word fast comment. If you, you know, if you have any questions or if you just want to chat about how you felt about any of the days, days one through 10, or just once you complete the 10 day word fast, how did you feel at the end of the fast? Did you feel any better? Uh, did anything change for you in your life? What did you get out of it? What did you change? And then did you start to notice your surroundings change as well? The people around you, were they changing as well? So thank you.